Hello, Internet friends. My camera isn't working today, so you're not going to get to see my lovely face, but I thought I'd share this quick video on importing electrical items. Downloaded a, a few electrical lights from a manufacturer in SketchUp files, and I'm going to drag that file from my browser, from my file explorer, onto the Chief Architect um, page here and that just drops in a, a 3D object. It's not electrical right now, and we can tell that by the fact that it cannot connect to electrical items here. In 3D, it looks fine. Let's bring that up further, like so. So let's let's see what we've got here. I'm going to turn off the roof to roof planes and open this object. Let's just see what we can do. In 3D, I can't really change anything here. In the 2D block, that's just what it is going to show on the plan view. My options, it's going to hang on the wall. And let's say it has standard voltage and maybe the type is um, I don't have the option to make this electrical. Appliances, bathtubs, blinds. Okay. Advanced sizing, that's just resizing it layer. Materials, Label, Components, Object, Schedule. I want to show it as an electrical object. I would do that, and that would be under Lights. But I really don't see where I can change it to... I would think it'd be under here. I can change it to the electrical layer. Let's do that. And I don't believe any of that's going to have changed that function. No. So what I might want to do is, let's see if we can add this to our library. I doubt that's going to really affect anything either because, again, I cannot change it here. So it works that you can drop it onto the, add it to the library from here, but it's not going to, and it retains its, uh, fact that it needs to be on the wall and it's even at a certain height um, and it's on the electrical layer but that doesn't change that it's not a light object so what I might do is this I'm going to drop it here and let's take a 3d view of this well, let's just take a quick camera view here. I wonder actually if I can import a 3D symbol from my I can right click on the user catalog and import a 3D symbol and make this a electrical fixture, electrical right there. Let's show advanced options. As it imports that. And we're going to offset from the floor um, 90. Light data, we can specify as a light, and so add that light information to it. In 3D, this is what it looks like. You could give it the name. 
2D, that's fine. This is going to work. Options, we want it wall mounted. And this is not a three-way switch. It is just 110 volt. It's going to be outdoor. It's none of these things. Layers electrical, that's fine. Label. Components, you could give it all sorts of code information. We're going to auto uh, auto schedule is automatically going to show it as, well, let's show it as lights. And I believe I picked a different object this time. But now we go back into here. And here's my light that is a uh, electrical item. And it can be connected to a switch. So don't drag it from your don't drag it from the file explorer. Do an import directly. Once again in directly into your user catalog. Direct, once again user catalog, right click on that new 3D symbol and find that symbol. Give it the information that you want. This was There we go. Now, when when you import that, make sure you've ma selected that as an electrical, and then you can start adding light data. You can tell it um, whether it's wall mounted, ceiling mounted, outdoor, etc. I hope that's helpful. Uh, thanks so much for following along. Whoops. One thing I guess we do need to uh, figure out with that is the. Well, before we go, ah, yes, we need to figure out the, the, uh, or the, um, origin. So in the Y position, we're going to do a zero offset. There you go. That's what it needed. Zero offset. So let's change this. Open object, uh, 3D, zero, there we go. If we drop this up here, there we go. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for following along. Click like and subscribe. Take care. Have a great week.